provisions of the $3.5 trillion bill. Corporate media is focusing on the costs, and presenting them in a negatively biased way. They aren't informing people about what's in the bill. Here is some info. Two free years of community college. The legislation provides two years of free community college for all students, regardless of family income. It is anticipated to cost $108 billion. Child care and universal pre-K. Every family that applies shall be offered child care assistance for children ages 0 to 5. In all, the plan allocates roughly $450 billion to lower the cost of child care and provide two years of universal pre-K for 3- and 4-year-olds, according to the House Education and Labor Committee. Medicare Expansion This heavily debated provision would expand Medicare to include coverage of dental, hearing, and vision services. Extended Child Tax Credit Democrats expanded the child tax credit for 2021 in their $1.9 trillion COVID-19 relief plan, and now want to extend it through 2025. Under the enhancement, families receive $3,600 per child under age 6, and $3,000 per child age 6 to 18. Most families receive monthly payments of either $250 or $300 per child. Cut Prescription Drug Prices Another key provision in the bill is aimed at helping to slash prescription drug prices. Americans on average pay two to three times as much as people in other countries for prescription drugs, according to the White House. Among other things, the legislation allows Medicare to negotiate drug prices. Medicare is currently prohibited by law from negotiating for the best deal. Paid Family and Medical Leave For the first time in history, the U.S. would have comprehensive paid leave covering 12 weeks of paid family and medical leave. The legislation would replace at least two-thirds of earnings, up to $4,000 per month, while the lowest paid workers would receive 80% of their income. The White House has previously estimated the plan would cost $225 billion over the next 10 years. Climate change Combating climate change and slowing the rate at which earthworms will mean transitioning away from fossil fuels, the major source of greenhouse gas emissions. One provision that Manchin has objected to is the $150 billion Clean Electricity Performance Program, which would pay utility companies that increase their renewable energy supplies by 4% per year. Companies that do not hit this benchmark would face financial penalties. The bill also provides significant funding for forest management and other wildfire control measures. There are also measures to incentivize the buying of electric vehicles and the construction of charging stations, consumer rebates to homeowners who weatherfit their houses, and financial penalties for oil and gas producers for methane leaks, among other things. Lesser Known Provisions The massive bill has a slew of lesser known provisions as well. For instance, the bill would authorize $5 million a year for the Small Business Administration for an entrepreneurial program for formerly incarcerated individuals. The bill also directs $2.5 billion for the Justice Department to award competitive grants or contracts to local governments, community-based organizations and other groups to support intervention strategies to reduce community violence. Thanks for watching the Obsessed Gamers the best of. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.